Welcome back to another episode of Tech Tech Thought Story Time with me, Steffi. How are you? I hope you're doing well and healthy wherever you are. My reading friends, in today's book, we will follow five different children and their experience of their first day of school. Would you like to meet them and see how they go? Let us follow them as we read Starting School. Please enjoy the story. Starting School Written by Jane Gottman and Anna Walker Meet the children starting school. Here they are. Tim, Hannah, Sunita, Joe, and Polly. Getting ready. Tim wants a lunchbox that's easy to open. These feel a bit tight, says Hannah. Huh? Is everybody listening? Sunita asks. Polly lifts her new back tie. Everyone says to Joe, Are you looking forward to starting school? Joe is thinking about it. <laughs> the first day. Polly is trying to be brave. Mom and I can stay for a little while, says Polly's dad. Huh? Sunita doesn't know anyone, but she feels ready for school. She whispers to her mom, It's good! Huh? Joe has found an interesting book about dinosaurs. <coughs> Hannah feels excited, but Tim doesn't want to leave his mom. Huh? I feel a bit nervous, just like you says Miss Quick. I have a whole room of new children. Getting to know people. There are 11 boys and 10 girls in the class. So many names and faces to remember. Sasha, Angus, Ali, Tom, Jake, Joe, Ellie, Hannah, Sunita, Sam, George, Sophie, Monique, Polly, Brandon, Sunye, Lulu, Chuping, Crystal, Nick, Tim, and Miss Quick. We have a whole year to get to know each other, says Miss Quick. A whole year, thinks Polly. That's a very long time. Making friends. Hannah and Joe are playing a game with cards. Sunita says, Can I play too? <laughs> Tim has found the Lego box. Polly gets out her new pencils. She wants to draw with a friend. Huh? Around the school. Two straight lines, please, says Miss Quick. Why do we have to line up? asks Sunita. So we can all stay together, says Miss Quick. We don't want anyone getting lost. Miss Quick shows them the playground, the hall, the toilets, and the music room. This is a very big school, says Polly. My sister goes here, says Hannah. She holds Polly's hand. I can show you around. (laughs) 
snack time. Crunch. <coughs> Yum. Mm, yummy. Polly has trouble with her biscuits. <sighs> Watch out, Joe. Whoops. In the playground. Hannah and Sunita play on the monkey bars. Can you do this? And this? Says Sunita. Polly wants to join in. She hangs upside down. I'm going to try that, says Sunita. The playground is full of big children. They shout and play cricket. Tim sits under a tree by himself. Look at this, says Joe. Joe has found a tiny ladybird. In the classroom, Joe and Tim don't hear the bell and they forget to come back in. Miss Quick has to send some big children to look for them. Then it's time for the class rules. Everyone helps to think them up. Welcome to school. Look after your things. No running in the classroom. Put your hand up if you want to say something. And listen to the teacher at all times. Learning at school. Miss Quick says, put your hand up if you can think of something we might learn at school. No calling out. We can learn maths, says Joe. And writing, says Sunita. Reading, adds Hannah. Tim doesn't put his hand up at all. A boy is playing with Polly's hair. Stop doing that, says Sunita. She doesn't like it. New things to get used to. No one notices Tim in the line for the canteen. Hannah has to go to after-school care even when she's tired. Polly feels nervous going to the toilet. Sunita has a list to help her remember everything she needs each day. I don't need a list, says Joe. Doing work. Hannah finishes her work fast. Joe has lots of ideas and his writing is messy. No one can read it, not even Miss Quick. Tim can do sums in his head. Miss Quick says Tim is a good listener. I love your drawing, Polly, says Sunita. Sunita and Polly measure their new friend, Angus. Polly is the tallest and Angus is the shortest. But I'm growing every day, says Angus. Packing up. In the afternoon, everyone is tired. Miss Quick reads them a story. Then it's time to pack up. Whose head is this? Joe, where is your shoes? Who's got my take-home book? Hannah's lost her pencil case. Here it is. Thank you for being helpful, Polly, says Miss Quick. Home time. I played on the monkey bars with Sunita, says Hannah. I love school, 
says Tanisha. Our class has a pet bird, says Tim. And I met a boy who knows all the dinosaurs that ever lived. I made a friend, but I forgot his name, says Joe. We got lost at lunchtime because we were following a beetle. At first, I wasn't sure, but now I like it, says Polly. Best things about school Lunchtime mm, Friends <laughs> Class pet Writing Bodies Music Play Lunch order Art Show and tell Reading And sport And that is the end of the story. From this book, we can learn that there are so many different things that we can experience on the first day of school. My reading friend, certainly there are lots of friends to make, fun ways to learn, and lots of different things to discover at school. If you like this kind of story, please give a thumbs up. Also subscribe to our channel to hear other special story from me. See you in the other story.